Good day everyone. Now, we were going to talk about the anatomy and structure of female reproductive tract. Our specimen right here is a cow. So, we're going to start our way working from the outside inward. So our first structure is the vulva. Vulva provides extra protection to the vagina, passage of urine, the opening for mating, and serves as part of birth canal. The vulva is located at the opening and appears wrinkled and dry when the cow is not in heat. This is the anus. It is connected to the colon. So, this is the megacolon, the last segment of the digestive tract. From there, it travels through the rectum and out of the anus. This big sac over to this side is known as the bladder. The bladder lies below the reproductive tract and is connected at the urethral opening of the vaginal wall. This is the vagina, which is 4 to 5 inches long. It is located from the urethral opening to the cervix. This is where semen is deposited during natural mating. Cells in the vagina and cervix secretes mucus which lubricates the tract during insemination. This area right here is the cervix. The cervix is a thick cold organ that connects the vagina and the uterus. This is also known as a landmark when manually palpating because it feels very different than any other structure in the reproductive tract. It's very sphincter-like, so in other words, it feels very similar to a chicken neck. It also produces mucus during estrus, and it is sealed right here during pregnancy to prevent any pathogens from entering and harming the developing fetus. And, it serves as a birth canal during parturition. The next structure that we are going to discuss has two parts. First, the uterine body, which is this area serves as a connection between two uterine horns. This is where semen is usually deposited during AI. We also have two uterine horns, which are bicornate meaning that there are two, the right and left uterine horn. These structures make up the uterus. The next structure is the ovary. The ovaries are actually controlled by two hormones that are produced in the brain from the pituitary gland. These hormones are follicle-stimulating hormone, also known as FSH and luteinizing hormone, also known as LH. It also produces its own hormones, known as estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen is a hormone that regulates the estrus cycle, and progesterone prepares the uterus for pregnancy. The ovaries are also in charge of gamete production. The oviduct, which is a long tubular structure, also known as fallopian tubes, and each reproductive tract has two. It connects the uterine horns to the ovaries. It transports the sperm and oocyte through smooth muscle contractions, so when the ovary releases an oocyte, it manipulates it through the oviduct into the uterine horn. The ovary in the animal is typically covered by a membrane of tissue. This drape over it is a fimbria. Fimbria is a set of tissue that lays over the ovary and has cilia inside the surface, so that when the oocyte releases egg from the ovary, the cilia then will push the egg across the fimbria to the opening of the oviduct. So we make an incision to show cervical rings. So cervical rings form interlocking finger-like projection known as interdigitating prominences.
It provides a site of storage where sperm are protected from a spermicidal environment of vagina and uterus. Now, we know the most important part of the female reproductive system. Thank you for watching.